Well, good morning, fellow Diamond Painters. Good Sunday morning to you. Uh, it is 8.07 a.m., the 17th of March, uh, 2024. <clears throat> and uh, I've been up since about 6 a.m., so uh, I'm getting close to finishing this, so I thought I would... Um, talk about it again so that you know what I'm diamond painting <clears throat> I haven't decided what to pick out uh, for my next project uh, and when I do I'll put them up and you guys can tell me oh, what do you think I should pick out of them I'm, I'm debating on whether to pick out some 30 by 40s and go from there because last month I did, oh, probably uh, um, what, se seven different things last month. This month I've only done three. This one and uh, the two cardinal projects. So I'm kind of behind as far as I'm concerned. I'm hoping this view is good enough because uh, hopefully you're not crooked or whatever, but we'll see when it comes out. <coughs> um, okay, what I'm uh, painting is, and I started it on March 4th, 2024, which really puts me behind I'll tell you it is uh, called virus detected by Randall Spangler uh, put out by Diamond Art Club it is a 33 inch by 20 inch or an 84 centimeter by 51 centimeter and uh, it is around there are 44 colors and there are four ABs so, here it is. And where I am at is, I am right about in here. I'm going to be doing this section today. And hopefully get this other area done in the next day or two. And it figures, I've been sitting over here messing around on the computer, playing a few games. And the puppy's been in his puppy uh, bed for like maybe an hour. And now I decide to do a video and I hear him starting to yip. Well, he can yip. He's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. So, okay. Uh, let's see the color that I'm going to work on is I'm gonna stick right here. The number nine, and I'm gonna have to end up opening another packet because I'm down. Um, let's see, today, of course, is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody who, uh, you know, celebrates it. And, uh, oh, and I forgot to put, oh, I'm real good at this, this morning. Forgot to, uh, put a glue dot in. Took it out last night, threw out the one, and I forgot to put another glue dot in. Okay. So... I don't know how well I am on this on camera with this being tilted so we will see what we will see I don't really have to show me putting in a glue dot I've done it before I'm trying to get in the light <clears throat> yesterday uh, I had gotten a craving <laughs> for a subway sandwich and there is no way 
first off, you know, limited funds. But there was no way I was going to pay almost like $14 for a stupid sub sandwich. I mean, their, their prices have went through the roof. So, um, they, they, they've went out of their minds. So, I knew I still had some um, shredded uh, rotisserie chicken left. And I thought, you know what, I love their chicken teriyaki, uh, Subway's chicken teriyaki sandwiches. And I had a couple of um, those uh, sausage buns left. And I knew how many carbs they were and, you know, what I was going to have. So I turned around and uh, thought, you know what? I'm going to make my own chicken teriyaki sandwich, Subway sandwich. So <clears throat> I looked up a recipe for the teriyaki uh, um, what did they call it? Uh, a teriyaki uh, oh god, now I can't think of the stupid word but it's like a sauce or whatever. That's what you uh, put in the chicken while you're cooking it up. So this chicken naturally was already cooked, so I just, and, and the recipe that I saw was unhealthy because it wasn't, uh, you know, it was uh, all sugar and junk. So I made it healthy by uh, using my brown sugar that, because uh, it called for, you know, regular brown sugar. Well, I use my Swerve, which is, you know, no sugar. And it wanted honey, but it didn't need to have any honey, and I don't. <clears throat> Boy, this is not working this morning, is it? I have no honey uh, in the house. So, I just went ahead and uh, made it the way I would make it. I have the recipe in the other room. I probably should have brought it in here to tell you guys. But anyhow, I uh, made up my teriyaki uh, sauce, put it in the chicken, and uh, then I had to... <clears throat> put that in the refrigerator so it would cool down because I didn't want it I don't like their uh, subs heated so I uh, took their tear yeah, put it in the refrigerator and then I was going to make my own uh, sweet you know that they they pour over their sweet onion uh, sauce or whatever it is and uh, I was going to do that, make my own, and then I remembered I had that that Hughes uh, bottle of that sweet vinaigrette that I had. Well, I opened it up and tasted it, and it was almost identical to the sweet teriyaki onion sauce. And so I thought, okay, and I had some provolone cheese in here. I opened up my little sub and uh, put that all on the bread. I made it just like a Subway sandwich. And oh my God. And then I cut up two small red potatoes, cubed them with the skin on, and I added, uh, I, I roasted them in the oven with, uh, I poured some olive oil on it, some paprika, a little bit of salt, uh, onion powder and then garlic powder and put that in the oven put those in the oven and so I had like a little handful of uh, potatoes like like I would have french fries or chips or something and that sub sandwich and those potatoes oh my god number one it tasted fantastic number two it took away any craving 
you know, of oh, wanting a sub sandwich. So that's what we had for supper last night. And it was so good. The uh, sub itself, or the uh, bread, <coughs> excuse me, was 37 carbs for one. And then uh, I'm sure there was probably, you know, a carb or two or whatever in the cheese. Uh, not much. But then I would have had whatever the carbs were in those few potatoes. So I probably went over my dinner carbs uh, by maybe five, five, car five to ten carbs, which isn't bad because I did not eat lunch yesterday. So all I had for breakfast, and I didn't even have 30 carbs for breakfast. So I probably had maybe, oh, I'd say maybe 70 carbs yesterday total. So that's not bad. Especially when they want me, or say I can have more, but I had about 70 yesterday. Now today I may have about the same or less, because today, in probably a few hours, I'm going to uh, get out my crock pot and start my cabbage and corned beef. Uh, I only put, uh, I had a large thing of corned beef and I cut it in, four, in three or four pieces because I don't want to have that much. I, I don't want to have <clears throat> any major leftovers. So I'm going to have probably more cabbage and carrots than anything else in the uh, crock pot. So uh, I'll probably put in two or three small potatoes so that those are there and uh, I can't wait to have that I, I you know I get it once a year and that's it you know so and uh, I had some of that uh, chicken teriyaki left left over from yesterday so today for lunch I'm going to uh, put out a few um, uh, romaine lettuce leaves and put that on top, you know, add some cheese to it and make it almost like another little sub type sandwich but on lettuce. So, you know, that's what we'll have for lunch and just have that little bit left over. So, I don't know what everybody else is doing today. I'm sure. You know, if you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day, you know, have a good one. Uh, there is Irish in my family, you know, on my mother's side. She's Romanian and Irish, heck of a combination, I suspect. Uh, my dad was pure Italian. Uh, my grandmother and grandfather came over. Oh. And Ellis now landed on Ellis Island, and they came over from Italy, from Genoa. And uh, my dad, you know, first generation born in the United States. I'm just the second born in the United States. So, and he, of course, pure Italian. So, I can celebrate different things. <laughs> You know, with, you know, everybody has different nationalities in their family, their heritage, and they celebrate whatever they celebrate. You know, I know some people use it as an excuse to, you know, just like 4th of July and, and you know, those, those type of holidays, rather than think of them as the reason why it really is the 4th of July, they find an excuse to either get drunk and uh, shoot off fireworks and shoot guns in the air and everything and then you know forget why they're really celebrating it or why it's imp you know important so 
I haven't had breakfast yet, but I do have my coffee. Oh, I'm telling you this when you put when you first put in a new blue dot, it's a pain in the butt. So, like I said, I want to get this done. I want to get uh, you know onto something else. I just don't know what. And uh, not a whole lot to talk about, not a whole lot to go over. Oh, my fingers are getting numb. I think I, I just hold my pen too tight. So I know I haven't been on here that long, and here I go again with you know, not knowing what the heck to talk about, what you know, what to discuss. Um, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm dumbfounded, I, the weather today, I don't know, when, let me see what the temperature is now, it's 41 degrees, I think they said today it'd be about 61, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't think it really, uh, makes much difference because I'm not going out in it so it doesn't matter to me um, I did uh, contact the handyman <clears throat> my handyman I'm waiting to hear from him <clears throat> I suspect you know he might get back with me <clears throat> oh might get back with me uh one day this week coming. Because I'm wondering, you know, I mean, I'd hate for his uh, uh, estimate to change a whole lot. But I got to get a drink to throw it. Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Um, you know, he, he's got a, a decent estimate. Right now, my hot water tank is working. Now, if I knew I could get a hold of him, like ASAP, if, you know, within a matter of, of days, uh, if my hot water tank goes out suddenly, I would tell him to wait and I'll see how this hot water tank is working. You know, I mean, I hate like heck to replace something if it's working, you know, because I could get another, you know, year out of it or, you know, and then be a little more financially stable or something or save up or whatever. So I don't know. I, I you know, I don't know what he, he would think or if he could keep the same estimate because I know stuff goes up. I mean, that, that, that's a given. But I'm, you know, like say, say I'm, you know, tell him, okay, let's wait and see how this hot water tank goes. And six months down the road, it, it blows or it quits working or whatever. And, you know, that's going to take me into winter months. <clears throat> you know, is he going to want to have to come out here in the winter and mess around with a hot water tank so i don't know and by that time how how fast can i get a hold of him and uh what is his estimate going to be then you know so i'm debating what to do you know uh because his estimate is you know a lot more reasonable than those plumbers, they're out of their minds. And for a place that's been in business for 50 plus years, you'd think they'd, you know, I mean, heck, I mean, coming down to, that, that has to come down to almost $500 an hour or something. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. You know, almost four grand to put a hot water tank in. I, I don't care, mobile home or otherwise, that's ridiculous. So, I don't know. 
and I, I have so many other little things that need to be fixed too besides that uh, so we'll see we'll see what happens so let's see I think yesterday it rained a little bit that was about it but it's not bad out right at the moment it's not raining it's damp so like I said here it was boring again um, let's see I need to get some more color and then out 321 there we go cut this open and I contacted uh, a couple places that I had done PR packages for. I um, want to see if they're still, you know, wanting to do that or if they've changed their mind or whatever. <coughs> I know the one person that I had contacted before was going into the hospital. So I'm hoping he's okay. So we'll see if I hear anything from them next week sometime. So I probably won't be on here too much longer. The puppy's really starting to carry on. You can't hear him, but I can. And time gone. Oh, this glue dot. Some days it won't stick at all, and some days it sticks so much you can't, it won't release the drill but yeah I want to get this done and uh, move on to I think I want to go through my uh, 30 by 40s I don't need to pull out the uh, uh, gnomes until next month because then I'll have to do like May and June or something like that when I start them in April. So I'm going to look through and see either my 30 by 40s or, or like that one uh, kitty that I got the other day. And, you know, I, I want to do something that I can zip on through and move to into a next to the next because then it makes me feel like I've accomplished something instead of just sitting, you know, and doing nothing. So, yeah, you know, I keep hearing the puppy, and it makes me feel like it's a little baby whining, and you know, <clears throat> you know that mother instinct. Sometimes it kicks in. <clears throat> it's like I'm sound asleep, and I'll hear him whimper, and it's like, Bing! I sit bolt upright, you know, and it's like, okay, the baby's crying, got to get up. You know, it happens every morning. So, like I said, by the time I get off here, I'll probably say, geez, there's some things I wanted to talk about. I did have a discussion with a little man in my head, though. I will mention that. And uh, I'm trying to get him to go through some files from my childhood so I can sit there and talk to you maybe about that. We'll see what he comes up with if he doesn't, you know, he finds something. So... Well, wish me luck. I'll see if I can get him to wander around in there and bump into some good stuff. So, I'm going to get off here. Sorry for the short video, but I wanted to pop in and let you know I'm still here. And uh, we'll, you know, chat again on Monday, I guess. I don't know exactly what time because, like I said, I got to take the puppy in. I want him to get him. I want to get him his uh, his nails cut. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've come to my my end of whatever it is, and then I'm gonna go in there and yell at the puppy. <laughs> so, well, y'all have a good one. Sorry for the short video. Other ones have been even shorter. And I didn't have a whole lot to talk about. But the food was excellent yesterday. If you want the recipe for the um, 
teriyaki sauce that I made. Um, you know, uh, I can uh, print it up, or I mean, uh, type it up on the video and you can look at it. It was really, really good. It's very simple, it, you know, but I did it, like I said, the healthy way. So there was no sugar in it and it was really good. And I used that brown sugar swerve instead of the brown sugar it called for. And I think there's only four or five ingredients in that sauce. So it was really good and it, it's good. Like if you want to, you know, casserole some chicken, you'll bake it or spread it on chicken, a whole piece of chicken and put it in your air fryer. It would really be good. You soak it in it, uh, marinated in it, you know, so, but uh, I love taking unhealthy foods now. And I, I mean, I always love to cook to begin with, but I really love to cook now where I take healthy stuff or unhealthy stuff. And I say, you know what? I can turn that healthy if I try hard enough. And I've done it. I, I've done it numerous times. And I really, it, it's a lot of fun to do as long as I have all the ingredients. Uh, you know, I have some more spices I have to buy. I ran out. So next month I got to pick up probably another five or six spices that I'm out of. So y'all have a good day. Uh, you know, celebrate. Have a beer on me. I don't drink. Uh not against anybody drinking. I just did my drinking in my younger years. So have a good one. Enjoy. Love you all. Thanks for coming. Thanks for commenting. Uh, thumbs up if you like it. And uh, I will talk at you again later. DP Crazy Lady, I'm out.